You may or may not know this, but I have been collecting YouTube ranks like infinity stones. I have got YouTube rank on every single featured server and nether games, which is pretty much a featured server. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what is and isn't special about these YouTube ranks. Along with that, I'm going to leave a link to each and every YouTube rank, so if you think that you're qualified or meet the requirements for these ranks go check those out apply for yourself down below the first server i do want to talk about is lifeboat lifeboats youtube rank back in the day used to be a very special thing especially for the minecraft pocket edition community in specific the lifeboat requirements to get youtube rank is 1500 subscribers the lifeboat youtube rank in terms of requirements, is one of the easier ranks to acquire on Minecraft Bedrock. <laughs> no way. Next up, we have Galaxite. Actually, one of my favorite servers to have YouTube break on in this. It's down. The server is down. Since I've received the Galaxite YouTube rank slash influencer rank, the requirements have actually gone down. I believe the main requirement is 2,000 subscribers. It comes with this really cool tag and it actually comes with fly perms. You can fly around. You can even disable your gamer tag. It is one of my more favorite servers to have YouTube rank on just because of the support that you get. You can talk right to the staff if you have any issues. They're really nice people to communicate with. Huge shout out to Galaxite and their YouTube rank. I really do like it. Next up we have Mineplex. Now Mineplex YouTube rank, I didn't even know existed on Bedrock. It indeed does and I've only made one Mineplex video. Imagine that. They gave me YouTube rank, I've made one Mineplex video. I should really make another video on here. In my opinion, Mineplex could use a little bit of work, maybe fixing the lag a little bit. But in terms of communication, this was one of the fairly easier ones again. I do believe the requirements are a bit higher. There's not too many Bedrock creators that play on Mineplex. Pretty decent communication. My friend Potato Pie also has YouTube rank on here. There's not too much in terms of actual perks for the Mineplex YouTube rank. This could potentially change in the future. Just the fact that Mineplex has YouTube rank alone, in my opinion, is pretty cool. Now, Cubecraft has very much impressed me with their YouTuber. They have recently given us fly perms and nickname perms. Being a YouTube rank in games can sometimes lead to a little bit of selective favorites, as, a, as I like to call it. With their new nickname feature, it gives you a couple of different options for your nickname. And it even gives you a skin selection, so no one would really suspect you. Another good point to bring up is the incredible communication that they have on their ends. They're considering changing the YouTuber tag to something more suitable for multiple platforms. And instead of just doing this change, they've actually asked the creators about the change. So super super great on their part i do appreciate them i mean letting us have a say before they just make changes something that's really uncommon as well is literally having every single uh cosmetical item even if you don't want it my favorite the pizza cage cubecraft's doing a great job the requirements for this one is i believe 10,000 subscribers but they did give it to Team Termite who had around 4,000. There's not too many creators on Bedrock. Lastly, we have Hive YouTube rank. This, in my opinion, is by far the best looking YouTube rank. As you can see, when you slash Nick, it gives you some fairly random nicknames. Along with this as well, you do get every cosmetical item in the hive which is a ton oh, i don't even think i've worn all these one thing hive youtube rank does not give you is the slash fly unfortunately the hive youtube rank unlike every other server mentioned has a requirement of views rather than subscribers and i can't say this will never change but it hasn't changed in over a year so i do have to give huge credit to hive for sticking with that I also have to give credit to them for having multiple different tags. If you're a partner, you can have TikTok rank, you can have streamer rank, you can have YouTuber rank. 
it does compare with others in terms of the communication very very well communicated you do get access preview access yeah that's pretty much it ah nether games <laughs> uh, this was a youtube rank that i think i randomly applied for and i ended up getting <laughs> it does actually come with this youtube tag which is similar to mineplex's youtube tag it comes with slash fly which is cool i don't think it has slash nick there's no slash nickname again there's not too many youtube ranks on nether games the requirements are a little higher on nether games compared to other servers the one thing with nether games is the communication is not great at all the only way they communicate is through their forums and i do think this is a valid critique I think that they need to reach out more to their creators. They do have a Discord, but I think I've been in here for about a year in total, and I've never once gotten reached out to or even given the partner YouTube role. They took away one YouTube rank from a YouTuber called Pocket Gaming, and they expected him to reach out on their website. You can't expect someone to just reach out to your website. Why would anyone know that? It's pretty much gonna do it. That is all the YouTube ranks. I've become oh so powerful. <laughs> Mr. YT, Mr. YouTube, that's what they call me. <laughs> also, no, I didn't forget Mineville. It's just they wanted to charge me $19.99 plus tax. I decided to just skip the server for now. I hope you guys can understand.